Hey, good morning, it's Simon Dish. Well, it's good morning for me. Dish with Dave, that's me. You might be seeing this late afternoon evening. But I'm not even awake yet. God, I can get used to this already. I thought we would talk about, again, I think I've touched on this many times, is zero point foods. Like, take for instance, non-fat Greek yogurt. You know, we have a, you know, it's zero points and a serving, I, I think it's a quarter cup. I'm not even sure if it's, it's that, but we would put a whole cup in our bowl. Now, what is the calorie count between the serving and what you put in your bowl? I think it's significant. And the thing is, we don't have it plain. We doctor that bad boy up many ways. We put some granola in there. We put some fruit. Oh, Lord, it's a bus. Yeah, welcome back to school. We got bussy galore. Oh, somebody's filming their teenager. Oh, Lord, I could get it if it was a little kid, but all these people would be filming my teenager. Just saying. I mean, the significance in calories is crazy. So we're thinking zero point foods. When you add up those calories, it's not zero point foods. It's not zero calories. Calories, I mean, some, you know, some zero point foods have significant calories. If you eat enough of them. Oh, Lord, honey, stop telling me you're a kid. I mean, I can see there are little kids, but I'm trying not to be too judgmental. But yeah. When you're kids in middle school and high school, you shouldn't have to like coddle them on the stinking bus. Just saying. People need to get a life. Oh yeah, what ifs? Yeah, when your kids grow up, how different you are. <laughs> like, yo, get over it. Um, yeah. I, so I mean, zero point. I I just don't think zero point foods are all they're cracked up to be. I mean, it's you know, if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Like, like, the, like I go over this a million times. The chickpeas, if you air fry them and make them into a snack, WW says you have to count them. Well, why? It's It didn't change what they were. You crunchified it. So why now do I have to count it? Because you'll eat too many. Well, you just said there's zero points. So what is the difference whether I eat them out of the can or I bake them? You'll eat too many of them. Well, you said there's zero points. Why are you turning on my arrow? Dear Lord, I don't have my driving morning already. Yeah, you told me there was zero points. So I threw a little Pam spray and some barbecue powder on there or some like oregano. A flavor that you don't have to count. Really don't have to count. So now you're telling me they're points. But if I open the can and put them in my salad, I don't have to count them. I put the whole thing in can, you didn't say anything about that. But because I threw them in the air fryer or the oven and I roasted them, didn't really change them. I think technically baking them and drying them out might even make them a little less calories. I mean, I'm not a scientist, mind you, but I'm just, you know, surmising in my head. So I have to count them. So that tells me that they're afraid you're going to overeat them. Well, if I only make a can or a half a can, and I put a half a can in my salad. See, I don't just don't I don't get it. You know, somebody explain this to me. I mean, if you're and if you know the answer to this question, I've asked many people and nobody has really given me anything worth their weight in gold to answer that. Just saying. So I mean, you're talking calories. And you know, since it's dawn of time, calories count. You wanna have some zero point foods, but they add up to twenty five hundred calories. You're going to gain weight. At least I am. So, I'm thinking zero point foods are just either going to be counted in the new plan or accounted for in the new plan or I don't know, something. Because, I mean, you get somebody that's significantly overweight that, that has a problem with portion control and you're telling them, oh, guess what? You could have eggs for zero points. They're gonna have a dozen eggs for breakfast. And you know what, and not for nothing, nobody's selling them not to. That's a lot of fat and calories in a dozen eggs. I try not, I try not to eat eggs every day, it's hard.
hard because they're zero points and they're filling and they're good. I did, did I have eggs yesterday? No, I didn't have eggs yesterday. I did, did not have eggs this morning. So, it's a, so far, today's are with no eggs. I get, I don't want someone to get tired of them. And you know what? As good as they are and, as, you know, as decadent as they are, uh, yeah, you do tire of things. You sit there and say, oh, I'm never going to tire of it. But you will. It'll be like, oh, what am this? And uh, the same thing happened to me with the overnight oats. That's why I kind of haven't had them all summer. So now school is starting and I actually look forward to it today. Now tomorrow I'll do something a different flavor. Today was just a regular cinnamon vanilla extract overnight oats. Tomorrow maybe it'll be chai spiced overnight oats. I don't think I have everything for pumpkin. I don't have the pumpkin pie spice. I just don't have pumpkin. I know my kitchen does not have a can of pumpkin it is a crime because I'm making those brothels all summer. <laughs> Eating up a pumpkin and I made pumpkin muffins or pumpkin cupcakes which I do have to make for the channel and I, I'm just very slack. Here's I have a whole bag of them in my freezer. I have to make more. I have to, I have to make them and bring them somewhere. I'm going to bring them to school. One of my girls at school, she brought delicious homemade vanilla buttercream cupcakes. They were really good. I did have a little piece. You know. Um, yeah, back to zero point foods as I digress on other subjects. Um, like, well, fish, I don't think it'll be killer point wise, I mean, calorie wise, because fish is very low in calories, but it's high in different things. Certain fish is high in mercury, and some fish is high in like the fish fat, I don't know, like the fish oil, I don't know what it's called. But, I mean, you can't eat a lot, like tuna, canned tuna is high in mercury. You're going to be stuffing like white upper corn tuna down your throat? I mean, I don't know. I just, it just, anything, it, I said, it sounds too good to be true. Nine times out of ten, it usually is. It to be a daisy downer, but that's just how it is. And it's, I try to moderate myself. I try, I mean, the only thing I might have a lot of might be chicken breasts. And even with that, I don't have as much as I probably could have. I just think it's, you know, same thing with beans. Like, I love beans. But I'm not, you know, I'll only eat a couple tablespoons of my whatever I'm concocting. Other zero point foods, like well, the yogurt. I mean, the yogurt's a big thing. I mean, look at the calorie count. Even the difference in calories in a medium egg versus a jumbo egg. You're talking, I think, 20 to 30 calories more for a bigger egg. So you have two of them or three of them on an omelet. That's a significant amount of calories. I try to get the medium eggs, you know, I don't know if it makes a difference. The only reason I, the bottom line, the only reason I get the medium eggs is because they have a deal at the supermarket down the street from where I live, and I get like 30 of them for $1.99, so it's cheap, I'm cheap. So I get them, and they really, I know, and eventually, at first I thought, oh, these are small, but once you start eating them regularly, they feel normal now, so I don't feel like they're small. So I kind of feel like I'm saving calories by having the medium eggs. I don't know. I'm doing something right, I guess, but it just, it's, it's constant thought. And that's what I, I'm like, I was hoping once I got to this point, it would just be more automatic and it really hasn't been. I'm still thinking, I'm still, I'm still having to process what I want and tweak the app and a teaspoon of pumpkin seeds is zero. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of pumpkin seeds in my overnight oats and a teaspoon of hemp, crushed hemp hearts is zero points. So instead of having to count more points for my oatmeal, I just put a zero point amount in. Now, do two zero point amount cancel each other make out and make it a point? I certainly hope not because then I don't know what I do. <laughs> I have one. I'm not gonna, I have that little bit. I'd love to have more. Let's face it, I love crunch. I just do because it's, I put, in fact, I put it on my, my two point banana bread that I make which is on the channel here, the, it's called Mexican hot chocolate banana bread. You don't have to make it Mexican hot chocolate. You can just take out the cocoa powder and the cayenne and just be regular banana bread. But I like a little something different, a little zip. And it's, and like I said, you can adjust the cayenne pepper in that to make it as spicy as you like. It's just different. And like I said, you get into the rut of having the same food. So what can I do to make my foods more exciting and more different? Throw a little hot pepper in there something savory or I should say something sweet it's different and it's really it's different 
And you, like I said, you don't have to, you can put just a little and it gives a little, ooh, something in the background or you can put a little bit more and ooh, yeah, you, you know it's there. It all depends on your tolerance and, you know, try different things. I always say, like, we say, play with, you're not a kid, you can play with your food. Play with your food. Get the most bang for your point buck from your food and watch your zero point foods. Watch your zero point and we had a discussion with my coach and she kept saying well just have a portion and I said she's, and she acted like I was supposed to know this I said well this, this, it doesn't say anywhere in the literature that I was given that it's just saying here's a zero point list it doesn't say oh limit it or just have a portion of it I mean I know we're talking about I'm thinking about I'm trying to talk to new people so you know they don't come in they, that's why I think a lot of people don't have success on freestyle a lot of people will say they don't like freestyle. They need more, you know, accountability. Because the zero point foods suck. They do. I'm sorry. I'm just not a fan. I mean, I get it. And it, it somewhat makes sense. But you got to have a limit for people with a, with a food issue. You just do. Some kind of a checkbox. Or I don't know. Something needs, something, something needs to give somewhere. But that's my rant for today. And I'll just watch, you know, would it be a good idea to count calories, endpoints? I think so. I think the app, it does, if you notice at the bottom, it does give you the calories. But I don't know if it totals the calories in the app. I don't think I ever noticed that. I don't think it does. But like each thing you put in does give you the calories. But like I said, I don't think it totals the calories. So you don't really know what you total you had for the day. I mean, you're eating 3,500 calories and zero point foods. And that's not impossible. It isn't. Look at the yogurt. Look at the eggs. Look at the um, beans. I mean, they're all calories. I mean, they're good fats. They're good calories. But they're still calories. If they're having a problem losing, check how many zero point foods you're eating. Check the calories of your zero point foods. Just because it says zero does not necessarily make I mean, you're going to lose weight. It just doesn't. And I think that's deceiving to some people. To most people. I mean, I've been, uh, it's not my first rodeo. Not my first rodeo. And I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather go back to smart points without the zero point foods. I'd rather count them. Because the amount that I eat, I think I probably... Because you get, you get more points. I think we had 30 points on smart points. I think... 30 points a day so I have 23 now and most times I eat 23 so it's seven points extra I could be and that probably go count for my eggs it'll count for chicken fish beef pork I mean I could fit a lot of that into that seven points and do I have these things every day no I don't Though I did have fish a lot this weekend, and I saw definitely a dip in the scale when I got on the beginning of the week. I was like, ooh. So I don't expect the, the dip to stay there. I expect the dip to go up, which is fine. I mean, it was a big dip, it was a little bit of a shocking dip. I was like, ooh, girl, what'd you do this weekend, girl? You had too much fish. Oh, look, it's 7 20, and people are already brought their kids to school. Uh, you think people are excited about the first day? Yeah. I'm not quite sure I am. Yes, today the first day we have children. Yesterday we just had a faculty meeting. So today's the first day we have children. And thank God I am done at one o'clock because I think by then I will have been spent. Once they get back into the swing, I'm think sure things will be much better. But I am here. I have arrived. Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. If you enjoyed what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you want to know when I upload. And I will be doing daily vlogs in the morning again. If you're all excited about that, let's give it a thumbs up. And if you're not, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I got up early and I had a really weird dream. So I'm a little bit lo loopy today. So have a great day. We will dish another day.